My name is Mark Carroll, and I am running as a Republican candidate for the 11th Congressional District of Illinois. First, I have to express how incredibly humbled and honored I am to be standing in front of you today. If you're like me, you are fed up with millionaire lifetime politicians who never come back to the district and who are tone deaf to the real values and voices of the people of the 11th District. If you're like me, you're sick and tired of politicians who ignore us, divide us, and who are out of touch with the beliefs, struggles, and concerns of everyday Americans. You have felt like your vote does not matter, and you have no voice in Washington speaking for you. I am running to change this. I am running because my background, skills, education, and experience have prepared me to defeat Bill Foster and restore your voice and your values in Washington. In order to do this, we need to elect someone in this election who will not only defend Americans against the radical attacks on our firmly held values and beliefs, but also who understands the Constitution and its framework and knows how to identify where our checks and balances are being attacked every day and will restore our federal government to the limited government that our founders intended. Only then will your voice and the voices of all the people of the 11th District be most loudly heard. This election is about two things, trust and experience. Who do you trust to be able to take on Bill Foster and win? Who do you trust to represent your values, listen to your concerns, and be your best advocate in Washington? Who do you trust to place service to you before service to themselves? And who do you trust to draw people to our shared values and message, roll up his sleeves, and get things done on day one? Since we first started our campaign, we've been all around this district engaging with voters and have been transparent on where I stand, and I'm not afraid to answer your questions. I entered this race because over the past several years, I've watched as our elitist national political leaders have used the corporate media, social media, and big tech to attack us, divide us, isolate us, all the while just trying to distract us from their lack of accountability and their desire to obtain and maintain their own power. I entered this race because it's not enough to just win back the majority in this next election. Our mission is much bigger than that. For the past several decades, our most sacred checks and balances have been attacked and eroded. I'm the only candidate in this primary race with the experience to defeat Bill Foster and serve you in Washington on day one when elected. I am the candidate best prepared to staunchly advocate for our shared conservative values in D.C. and restore the checks and balances to our federal government that have been under attack by the Democrats for 60 years and are continually attacked on a daily basis. America is at a tipping point, and we need to elect someone who has the demonstrated experience to get things done for the people of the 11th District. Growing up the youngest of nine kids, I learned early on on how to advocate for myself and my beliefs. As my sister and I sat at TV trays at the end of our kitchen table, we had to make sure we got our brown and serve roles before any of my older siblings tried to sneak their second. I discovered my voice and my values at an early age. We were not rich, but we always had enough. I got my first job when I was 15 years old. I worked for a teacher who owned a small farm and we did odd jobs pouring concrete sidewalks, driveways, and patios, and doing the handyman remodeling jobs. I worked as a concrete laborer, and when we weren't pouring concrete, painting, or remodeling, we worked on the farm. That's where I first walked beans and learned how to drive a tractor to disc a field. That's where I learned that leather gloves were the best at preventing calluses. I worked at this job all through high school and in the summers leading up to college. Then, I made my way to Hillsdale where I was trained to understand the nature and the role of the U.S. Constitution and the proper scope and size of our federal government. At the end of my junior year at Hillsdale, I had the opportunity to work as an intern and subsequently as a staff assistant for the U.S. House Judiciary Committee under the chairmanship of the late Honorable Henry Hyde. While in Washington, I had the opportunity to work on such issues as the Partial Birth Abortion Ban Act, the Defense of Marriage Act, parental rights legislation, euthanasia, and lobbying reform. I'm the only candidate in this race that has firsthand knowledge of how the legislative and committee process works. Following my time in Washington, 
I returned to Illinois to attend law school at Northern Illinois University where I met my wife. Most of my professional career has been spent representing individuals and small businesses. I have personally sat with business owners and guided them on how to mitigate risk and how to navigate the struggles with owning a business during an economic downturn. I've sat with senior citizens as they navigate the difficult decisions associated with life care, estate planning, and tax issues. More recently, I've spent the past five years practicing as in-house general counsel in the financial services industry, where I've seen firsthand how regulation by enforcement without any accountability to the people stifles job creation, wage growth, investment in technology and innovation. Companies are forced to spend on mitigating compliance and regulatory risk that could be better spent on adding jobs and technology. As a 20-year attorney, I'm the only candidate who has rolled up my sleeves and solved problems for business owners, individuals, families, and seniors. And I'm the only candidate who deals every day with the extreme overreach of unelected regulatory agencies. Today, I reside in North Aurora, where I live with my wife, Andrea, and our three sons. I've been a youth sports coach for 14 years. I volunteered at countless events at our church, school, and in the community. I'm past president of the North Aurora Lions Club, and I'm the only candidate elected to public office, twice. I currently serve my second four-year term as village trustee in North Aurora, which holds a double A-plus bond rating. Before that, I served on the planning commission for five years. Look, this is a serious race for a serious job. The contrast in this primary is clear. For all of these reasons and for many more, I'm the best candidate to defeat Bill Foster and to be your fierce advocate in Washington on day one. I'm asking for your vote in the June 28th primary. My name is Mark Joseph Carroll. Look for my name last on the ballot. And as my dad always used to say, it's Carroll, C-A-R-R-O-L-L. Thank you, and may God bless you all, and may God bless America.